Now to developing news in the case of the lingering mold concerns at the Roderick, Ireland courthouse in Springfield. We're learning more about why attorneys for court employees say the Massachusetts trial court has breached the settlement agreed to back in May that promised significant action. Western Mass News reporter Paris Dunford joins us live with more details. Paris. Chris, Mary, employees from inside the courthouse tell me they're worried about their health as well as their colleagues. They are now calling on the trial court to hold up their end of the bargain. Pat Silk works in the judge's lobby on the fourth floor of the courthouse. She says she's worried about her own health after watching more than a dozen of her colleagues get diagnosed and some even die from cancer. I can probably name a dozen. Whether the, and several of them have passed away. I've got several, several friends who are here that are ill, you know, and when you come in, you you feel it, you get a headache, you sneeze, you cough, your sinuses. She's now joining other colleagues, calling on the trial court to do more to protect the workers. On Thursday, attorneys representing multiple Roger Island Courthouse employees detailed their filing of a breach of contract. Back in May, those employees in the trial court reached a settlement agreement regarding the dangers of toxic mold found inside the building. Outlined in that agreement, the trial court promised to hire an outside company to do a deep clean of the building, highlighting each required area they were supposed to clean. However, videos Western Mass News crews took from inside the courthouse show stuff wasn't moved to be cleaned. Well, I've seen reports that it was in the range of $35,000, and I've heard this morning uh, that the cleaning crew consisted somewhere between 10 and 20 people. Attorneys say the trial court broke the contract by not specifically following the cleaning directions outlined in the settlement. They also claim the trial court breached the agreement for a second reason. An occupational health hazard study is to be completed by the trial court, investigating people's health issues and if they were caused by mold or other health hazards in the building. The trial court had seven days from the signing of that agreement to start the procurement process. Almost nothing has been done by the trial court on this point, and people who work in the building continue to get sick and die from various forms of cancer, while the trial court leaders from Boston continue to ignore their duties and responsibilities that they agreed to in writing. Western Mass News reached out to a representative with the trial court who sent us a statement that reads, quote, the trial court has received the plaintiff's written allegations of breach and will respond in writing to the settlement coordinator to report on both its completed and its ongoing work on these matters. Now, we did speak with the settlement coordinator, former Judge John Payne. He helps us better understand what this breach of contract allegations mean and what the process will look like moving forward. We'll have those details tonight on Western Mass News at 6. For now, reporting live in Springfield, Paris Dunford for Western Mass News.